Welcome to the little town of Noise. Before I tell you about this city and I show more of it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Let's start our little tour in the state park. It's a haven of beautiful flowers, birds and water features. Neuss is a city near Düsseldorf and Köln. Neuss and Trier share the title of Germany's oldest city and in 1984 Neuss celebrated the 2000 year anniversary of its founding in 16 BCE. It was founded by the Romans as a military fortification. Later, a civil settlement was founded in the area of today's center of the town. Neuss grew during the Middle Ages because of its prime location on several routes by the crossing of the Great Rhine Valley and its harbor and ferry. During the 10th century, the remains of the martyr and tribune St. Quirinius had been relocated to Neuss. One of the main events in the town's history is the siege of the town in the 15th century by Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy, that lasted for nearly a year and was part of the Burgundian Wars. The story of the siege is full of infighting, reveled by the English mercenaries and generally the troops not behaving. Quite a story! The citizens of Neuss withstood the siege and were rewarded by the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick III. It actually ended with a peace treaty. The town was granted the right to mint its own coins and to carry the imperial coat of arms, the imperial eagle, and the crown in the town's own coat of arms. In 1586, more than two-thirds of the city was destroyed by fire, trading declined rapidly, and Neuss became a place only important for its agriculture. Neuss regained its economic power in the 19th century with expansion of the harbor in 1835 and increasing industrial activity. It is a charming little city with quaint German buildings and a lot of bakeries. Oba Bakarai on Café Neuss was where I bought most of the pastry. It felt uh, very authentic. Many older inhabitants of Neuss would come in for a lunch or anything really. Far from the bakery is the Basilica of St. Quirinus. It was erected between 1209 and 1230. The Basilica is one of the best examples of Romanesque churches in Germany. It has a strong Lombard influence, but in principle shows the first signs of Gothic. In its bell tower, the first semicircular arches appear. This form of arch becomes centuries later one of the hallmarks of the Gothic style. It is dedicated to St. Quirinus of Neuss, a prominent Roman martyr of the 3rd century. The church itself is dark and simple, but really transports you back a thousand years. You can explore the art in its medieval beauty.
you for watching this little video of noise and I do recommend visiting this charming town. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.